set up your DDR bag. So first want to set it up on the floor. Open up the storage compartment for the cable. Pull out the USB cable. You can use this notch to properly secure the cable. That will keep people from stepping on it. First time using it, you want to plug it into the computer. For the first time when you plug it into the computer, you should hear the drivers install. Usually it makes a nice little noise. Yeah, installing the device driver. Once the driver is installed, the device should be ready to use. Sometimes it tells you, sometimes it doesn't, I guess. All right. Now to test the pad, I want to go up to Notepad. Okay, I went ahead and brought up MS Paint because I can still type in there and it'll be easier for you to see. But with the pad plugged in, we can now type on the keys. And you can see, oh, I can type letters WASD and E and Q. Simple enough, but if you unplug the keyboard, the, the DDR pad, hold down the right key, plug it in, lit up. Now we have a new set of characters. Uh, there, there's D mounts. D mounts is uh, turned on, but it's only for like 10 milliseconds, so you can type a bunch of letters. Now, we have four settings, up, down, left, and right. So I'm going to hold down, plug it in, yeah, T, F, G, H. So we'll hold another new set, give me a new line. And then the last one, number four, we're typing numbers, one, two, three, and four, Oops. six and five. Now, the different settings are for when you have multiple pads, you can't have the same WASD for both. So what you do is you'll set one of them up to be a different set. Now let's show you how to set this up into Stepmania 5, now that we know that the pad is functional and ready to go. Okay, now that we've used Windows Notepad to test that the pad functions, it's ready to go. So you wanna plug the DDR pad in first, then go and start Stepmania. I've already gone and done that, so that way we can get moving, because this usually takes a while to start up. Now, if the USB comes unplugged anytime during gameplay, Windows might assign it to a new COM port, and it won't, it won't work, so you'll actually have to shut the game down and restart it. So to get this set up, we're gonna go down to Options. Config key and joy mappings, whatever. Uh, start, so you're gonna hit the button, and hit enter, you'll see it start blinking. Then you hit your start button. You can see it assigned it to key six. Now you wanna make sure you're over here because if you hit left and right, you'll end up on the player two. So you wanna make sure you set up on the correct player. So player one, select, hit enter, hit the select button, that's good to go. Now the most important one, uh, left, hit left, go down to right, hit enter, right, make sure you know your left from your right, up, up, down, down. With those set, we should be good to go. I'm going to go down to save to disk, exit. Start game. Oh, I didn't even see what level it was on. Oh well. All right, they should light up when you hit them, so you know they're good to go.
you get the idea. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my videos. Also, if you have some of the older DDR pads, they were made using the Xbox 360 controllers, so they won't work with this version of the firmware. If you do have problems with it, you can actually go to my website and download the firmware and reload it. It uses the Arduino IDE, which is free to download from Arduino. Probably pronouncing that wrong. And here you see the sample of my code. It's similar to C++, or it is C or something like that. That's available on the website. You can download it, reprogram this as you wish. You can also dig through here and change the debounce time. It's set for 10 milliseconds right now, which should be good enough. Uh, some of the newer, uh, some of the uh, older pads were Xbox 360 controllers. Then we first switched to uh, the Leonardo Arduinos. They were made with just a single program. They didn't have this fancy one in there. But then I, I paid my friend to do this one. This one allows you to switch between the different key configurations. Just really easy on the fly. One thing to note, if you have a text editor open and you have your DDR pad plugged in and you go and you step on your DDR pad, it will type letters in there. So but be, be cautious of that. It could be screwing up your code or selecting weird things on your desktop if somebody's fooling around on a dance pad when you're not in the game. With that, I think that covers everything. So be safe, have fun, and let's dance.